Welcome back to more Sip and Tally. And today's topic, Vita Vea, the Bucks gatekeeper. And you see the thumbnail, the monster in the middle. He's the reason that Tampa Bay defense has been so, so good. He sets the tone, whether it be versus the run. Well, we all obviously know what he can do versus the run. But he does give you something in pass rush, too. And this is a little sample size of what he does for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Appreciate you for being here. Enjoy the content. Let's get started. Again, welcome back to more Sip the Tally. Now, let's, let's concentrate on Vita Vea. But before we get started, sit back, watch the video. If you enjoy what you saw, hit the like button. I would appreciate it. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and turn the bell on, bell notifications on so you can be notified when they drop. But again, thank you for tuning in and let's get started. Vita Vea, and you know, mostly going to let it run through it and kind of talk about it. The, the, the thumbnail says the monster in the middle and he plays from five, from five technique on the right to five technique on the left. But mostly he sits in that zero, one, two, and three. And let's, so let's just get into it. Right now he's in the five. Just a half a sec. I think that's him and Shaq Barrett. Here's our guy right here. Watch the stunt. Guys this big should move like that. And he gets knocked off a little bit, but just keep fighting. Mm, and delivers a blow. That's what you don't want to see your quarterback doing right there after a tackle, after a sack. You don't want to see him wailing in pain like that but again let, let's check out his his quickness do it first there we go now we're ready make sure you edit that Ivan. let's look at his quickness right here Coming right off Devin White's butt, which is how it was taught to do. And he lit the center, I think it's the center, luckily gets a piece on it. Luckily. But not, you know, it's just a piece. He used the arm over to push him down. Now, he don't really have a sack, but look at the finish. The legal finish. Mm. So he's already wrapped up by 58. But 50 gets a massive hit on him. And all those things take effect on a QB. <laughs> you don't want that. That's the image you don't want. All right, let's go to the next one. Versus the Eagles. I got right there. Feel like the uh, one technique. Quickness. Quickness. Again, yeah, right here. Look at that. Avoid the double team completely. 62 gets nothing on it. 62 gets nothing on it. Look how quick that is. 62 get, gets nothing on him. He already's in his gap. He's already in his gap. Now, if this was a run right at him, he got gap control. Gap integrity is sealed. There's nothing he can do with him. He's in his gap. He's in his gap. Ready to, to make plays. But it's a pass. So once he realizes his pass, watch him get rid of it. All right, get you, get out the way. I got something to do. And go get the QB. And now the thing is, if you saw the Aaron Donald video, Aaron Donald made quick movements like this too. But Aaron Donald is 6'1", 280. Vita Vea is 6'4", 347, if I'm not mistaken. With feet like that. And all you need to be effective in that is short area quickness. Well, you need a bunch of other things, but him being that size and having short area quickness is, is amazing. Let's go to the next one. All right, right here. In the shade. Or the one technique. And we all know what he do versus the run. We all know what he, do, what he does versus the run. Again. They're trying to double him and 67 trying to throw that back hand then climb there 65 don't stand a chance takes me shucks him down all right let me sit you down politely you're in my way sit you down politely find the ball 
step over you and get in on this tackle. Again, <laughs> he don't even throw him down. He just, he just lay him on down politely. I think he tripped a little bit too. But still. We'll see. We know we know the power that he got. And that's a word I hadn't used yet. Vito Vea is a powerful human being. He just get a fumble recovery on that one. I mean, he gets a tackle for loss, but it's it's really nothing big on that one. He just, it's a stunt, and he's in the right place at the right time. So we'll go on to the next play. All right. Another stunt. Hit those two out. Same play. How tight he stay to. Look how tight he stay with the with the stunt with Indomitian Sue. He's gonna take that. Vito Vera gonna loop right off of Sue's butt. He's gonna be as tight as he can be. Look at that opening. Great, great pick and roll with him and Sue. Now he got a clear shot on Matt Ryan. And you know, six or seven tries to reach out and hold him, but watch the little subtleness of this. Get on off me. He just rips it through. Just a subtle rip. Nothing, you know, overbearing. It's a subtle rip so he can't slow him down right at the QB. And I, and the thing is, with this, yes, he, he had a great move. Yes, he got to the QB. But this right here is what hurts the QB. All that weight on top of it. It's legal. And it could potentially actually hurt the QB. But no, they're actually not legal. That one is. But if you hit them front to front and do it and just throw your weight on them intentionally, that's that's illegal. But that's a legal hit, and Matt Ryan don't like that. <laughs> that's, it's like he did the frog splash on him. But again, that's 347 just all on your chest. And you got the ball in your chest, so he probably knocked the wind out you. Crazy. <laughs> and he's celebrating before he even get up. All right, let's go to the next one. I think he's, that's him at nose. That's 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 just too much. That's too fast, too strong, too powerful. Too fast, too strong, too powerful. He gets rid of the guard and the tackle. They don't even slow him down. Watch the back view. They don't even slow him down. It's a simple little, you know, take that elbow. He really missed the hand. He really missed that hand. So 77 hand is kind of giving him half man. 70 uh, I don't know what he's doing, but it's over with now because he's split both of them already with a full head of steam. Easy set. Too easy. Versus the Panthers. He's just taking on a double team and just constantly pushing both back. Too much power, too quick, too much quickness. Too much power, too much quickness. He got look. This, this is what we're looking at right here. He got the guard and the tackle solo by himself. Try, he tries to turn the shoulder sideways to split it, but the, the guard does a good job of trying to get hip to hip, so he can't do that. So now at this point, he's just gonna push both of them backwards. And even though this guy does come off at the end with the blitz and linebacker from the outside, that little rip right there is what finishes. Watch. You're going to see his hand kind of appear back here. And that's him ripping up under the, the guard's left arm. Right there. And now he got his shoulder by him. Now I'm at the quarterback now. His rip is so powerful that if your hands are not in the right spot, you can't stop it. You can't stop it. And this is in the playoff game versus the Rams. Like I said, we all know what he does what he does against the run. Take seventy three. Alright, you're in my way. Let me find the ball. Gets rid of him. Right there. No no real no crazy move. This is just straight strength. Straight strength. There there's no rip. There's no uh, dip. There's nothing. Just straight strength. Okay, now I see the ball. Let me disengage. So there's nothing technical to go about that. He's just stronger than seventy three. 
That's it. In this case. I'm not saying he doesn't have the, the skills to be technical and do football techniques and whatnot. Just in, in this play right here, there was nothing needed. I'm stronger than you. Get out the way. Let me make this tackle. Again, relentless. Relentless. Tried one move, didn't work, then went to power. He did. He tried to move. This is him right here. He tried to move. It didn't work. Then I'm just use power. That's what I'm good at. Tried to arm slap. Didn't work. Didn't really touch anything. He just swatted the fly. Didn't work. And they passed him on. They did a good job passing him on. Passed him on to the tower. They passed him out to number 70. And again, old man Whitworth didn't play this game. I think he was hurt. Or oh, is this Whitworth over here? That might be Whitworth over there. I don't know. I think this, Whitworth was a left tackle, so he didn't play this game. So this is, I don't know who this is. But again, they passed him on good. So now that initial move didn't work. And this guy's kind of trying to see if he needs help. But watch watch this just go straight back. I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm, I'm more powerful than you. Excuse me. <laughs> the little, watch this. Excuse me. She just took that, that left arm, this arm right here, this hand, got it up under that shoulder pad, and moved him out the way. All right, sir, excuse me. Let me get to the quarterback. <laughs> That's how strong he is. He took one arm. And look, at I stopped in the right spot. Look at the placement. Up under, there's nothing he can do because the lever, he has the leverage. He's lifting him up. And this is reminiscent of, on, for those that lift weights, a power clean. When you get to a certain point on power clean, you got to thrust your hips through it. And that's what this is. Easily going to make this happen. Now, you set this dude in the middle. And you got them speedsters, uh, Devin White and, and uh, Vontae David. It's, it's, these, these cats should have a ton of tackles. I don't know how many they had in look at their stats, but they should have a ton of tackles when you got to deal with this cat all day long. You got to deal with that cat, and you got to deal with Sue when he's healthy, and you got buried on the edge. <laughs> These two dudes right here should have a ton of tackles. But that's why Tampa Bay defense is pretty good. And, you know, they got all these pieces. This is the guy, the monster in the middle, Vita Vea. So this is more Sip to Tally. If you, if you like what you saw, please hit that like button. Uh, consider following this channel. And um, I appreciate you guys for spending about 10 or 15 minutes with me, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace.